It's time to make a mini mouse dress. So, plan. Normal pocket pattern. Regular bodice pattern. Front and back. I have a pink zipper somewhere. I think it's in here. Zipper. Fabric. Measure out a circle skirt. Pull out the top part of this sleeve pattern. We'll see how far I get today, and I will check in. Ironing is one of my least favorite steps of the process. You need to see this. This piece that I've just been tracing on the fold, that's the center back. This is the back. This piece that I've been tracing on the selvage, that's the center front. <sighs> Try again. Few moments later. Okay, pieces are now all cut out. Sleeves, bodice back, cut on the selfage pockets, bodice front, cut on the fold. All of that is done. Now I'm going to put these in the serging pile and I'm going to move over here to my fabric that you can't tell is folded over and make my circle skirt. through four layers of this. I think I might need a fresh blade. Skirt is cut out. Now I'm gonna have to... might stay stitched this first. But I'm gonna cut it apart so I can put pockets in the side seam and a zipper in the back. Say hi, Zach. Hi. Doink. Oh. <laughs> it's time to search. Got all my pieces cut out. And the serger's right here. All right, all the pieces have been run through the serger and now I need to change out the thread in the sewing machine because right now it is electric yellow. Uh, and that's not really the vibe we're going for here. I'm gonna start attaching the pockets. It is 9.20 right now. And I'm gonna work for another 40 minutes and go to bed at 10 and we'll see how far we can get. But right now, let me show you what I'm looking at. All right, so you can see we have our skirt piece. I did cut out the full circle and then I cut it apart. And so we have half a circle. This is the front and I have my pocket pieces attached. And then I've got the side back and the other side back because we're gonna do a center back zipper because there's no reason to do a side zip in a children's dress. So I'm gonna put the pockets on these and I've got all of my bodice pieces that are ready to be assembled, both the exterior and the lining. I just used the polka dot fabric for the lining because it was cheap and it's, it doesn't feel bad and that way if it shows, if the lining peeks out, I'm not worried about it. And there are my other pocket pieces and my sleeve pieces are over here waiting to be gathered. Maybe I'll run the gathering stitches with the yellow because then they'll be nice and easy to see to pull out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, time check. It's 10.06, and here's what I've gotten done. Circle skirt is re-put back together with pockets in her. And I wanted to get that done so that could hang, so the hem could drop. Because um, it's a circle skirt, and most of it's on the bias. And then I was able to put together 
the straps of the bodice and the lining and I was able to put gathering stitches in the sleeves and they're already starting to puff up. I am going to go to bed now but tomorrow the first task is going to be to brain out how the bodice is going together and put in the sleeves and do the bodice part uh, until it's ready to attach the skirt and then I think we're gonna pause oh and I need cuffs for the sleeves uh, and depending on how long that takes with tiny human being present and conscious uh, we'll see what time it is because that is gonna need at least until bedtime tomorrow to let the hem settle where it needs to be so it can be retrimmed and that's easier to do when it's not attached to the dress and I can still lay it flat so that is where we will pick up when I see you next hopefully tomorrow <laughs> hopefully I don't get distracted by too many shiny things and other projects the next day good morning it's the next day and I want to have a little chat about late night sewing fortunately I didn't screw anything up because I knew better but what I was planning to do with the bodice last night was a bad idea so I'm glad I put a pin in that and stopped because it would have been a waste of time let me show you what I'm talking about so I want the lining and the outer bodice to be together I was gonna and I am still going to sew around the neckline but then what I was trying to figure out how to do was I was trying to figure out if I could attach the sleeve to the exterior do, 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 and then attach the lining and then flip it right side out so the sleeve was on the outside and everything inside was finished. While that's not a terrible idea, it's totally unnecessary because I've searched the edges to all of these. So all I have to do, based on the plan that I had set out for myself, is sew the <clears throat> lining around the neck edge, clip it, flip it, press it, and then baste the armholes together. That's all I have to do. And the only reason I'm doing this part before I sew up the side seams is because it's easier to line this up when they're both flat. I was trying to make my life easier by using the tools that I have available to me instead of making it more complicated. The moral of this story is know that you have limits. Know what they are and know when to stop because otherwise you're making twice as much work for yourself. I'm gonna go sew these together. I'll check in later. Sleeves are in and it's looking super cute. Very mini mouse. Now all we gotta do is trim this, hem it, attach it, insert a zipper, and then we're done. That's gonna wait until tomorrow because I apparently have a sick child upstairs. So I'm gonna go lay upstairs where I can hear her on the monitor and probably go to sleep. And I'll be up and back at it early tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then. Good morning. Please ignore the sounds of the coffee pot in the background. I need coffee. Um, <clears throat> so I have trued up the skirt uh, for Minnie. It's right here, having just been cut. And I realized this is a circle skirt and I probably want to hem it with bias tape. And I don't have bias tape in the right color. I'm going to place an order on Joanne's for pickup and hopefully get some pink bias tape. White would also work um, because, yeah, I'm not making bias tape. <laughs> mm. And then, so what I'm gonna do now, sorry, brain is processing. Uh, since I don't have the bias tape and I can't hem the skirt, I'll hem the skirt later. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the skirt to the bodice and insert the zipper and then this will be as done as I can get it until Joanne's comes through with some bias tape. So I will check in with you in a little bit once I've made myself a cup of coffee. All right, it's much later in the day. We've been to the store. I have acquired bias tape. I've sewed it on the hem. It could probably use a good press. Uh, but all that is left on this is now 
to hand sew in the lining. I could sew it by machine, but I've never been particularly good at making that look nice on the inside. And uh, frankly, I need a hand sewing project to sit on the couch and uh, just mindlessly whip stitch something. So I'm going to head over to the ironing board and iron in the seam allowance and probably iron the hem while I'm at it and take care of that. Uh, so that is one project done. I will show you some finished worn shots now. There she is. The lining is all sewn in. I put a hook and bar at the top where the zipper doesn't close. So, okay, uh, let's recap. This is functionally done. I'm showing you the back, hello. Uh, this is functionally done, Minnie Mouse is done. It is 52 days, really it's 51 days because it's evening. Uh, we have 51 days until we leave. So it took me nine, well, really, eight days to finish the commission, finish the ramen PJ pants, and make this. So, uh, and we've been working on... Uh, Emma's making a jelly roll race quilt. Uh, there will be a video about that, because she has requested to put out a video. Uh, I don't know if it will be on this channel, or if it will be unlisted and only sent to certain people on this channel. Uh, cause, child. Um, but yes, so, uh, if I can get everything done, I'm going to make some Minnie Mouse ears with this as the bow for her to wear with this. So that is, that is the goal. I'm going to go press this, and we will see you in the next installment of Why Am I Like This? That was not terrible. Uh, it was not hard to do. It was hard to get time to actually work on it. And I think that will perpetually be my struggle. Uh, so, next video will be me working on the aerial dress. I'm going to go cut out the pattern pieces for that. And I will see you in our next video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see uh, Adventures in Dying and see my struggle to get everything done in the time that I have left to me in the next f 51 days. The give five or six projects that I have ahead of me because I haven't even included I haven't even started thinking about the stuff for me like this video if you enjoyed seeing how I made this Minnie Mouse dress and comment down below and tell me who's your favorite original Disney character so Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, uh, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Mortimer Mouse if you're really feeling feisty let me know who's your favorite down below oh Clarabelle the cow I forgot about her yeah I think my favorite is probably Donald because I enjoy watching the hijinks with him and the nephews. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye! It's done. And it's not January yet. Hooray!